Yo, what's up, Coley? It's uh, J Cash back with another pickup. Um, I tried to do this review like five minutes ago. Well, I guess it was longer than that, but it said it was over 10 minutes and I exceeded some fucking time shit on my camera, so um, try to keep it quick this time. Order from uh, Stylish Key, and um, they claim to have um, faster shipping than MK Hip Hop. And I paid for it uh, last Tuesday. It got the tracking number last Thursday, and it, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it arrived uh, yesterday, so Wednesday. So that's six days. Not bad at all. Quickest pickup yet. Real happy with that. So, uh, um, you know, let's get into it. Uh, first of all, big shout out to Nicole. She helped me a lot. Real quick um, the conversation. Uh, couldn't be happier. So uh, let's start with, I guess, the hats. Uh, picked up a uh, Houston Oilers throwback snap. This one is a... Uh, Mitchell and Ness, you got your NFL Vintage, it's a mesh, it's got the uh, red snaps with the red brim, not bad underneath the brim, all in all pretty happy with this, I like this one a lot, so uh, there you go. Next one, this one doesn't fit me too well, but uh, you know what, still a nice hat, it's a Boston Celtics Mitchell and Ness. It's, uh, the material is kind of like a felt. It's real nice and soft and everything. You've got your uh, hardwood classics. You got your new era. You got your new era. You got your hardwood classics. Your 5950. And your NBA logo. So, I mean, although it doesn't fit me, somebody else is going to be real happy with it. I'll give it to one of my friends or something as a gift or whatever. I'll just hand it to them. So, real nice hat. So, if you got like a bigger head, I got a small ass head. So, if you got a bigger head, um, pick up one of these joints because these are fucking like the quality of the material is like fucking real nice. Uh, next, I got a, uh, a keychain. Bears, you know, everything's good with this. I just have like one tiny little qualm with it. What the fuck is this? You Velcro this shit together? You, you couldn't just sew it? I, I, I don't know. You know what? Pick up your game, China. Because this one, this one right here, it's a little messed up. Velcro. It's all good, though. I like it. Uh, next item. I, I, I Now I'm trying to go a little quicker than last time. I'm fucking I'm only at like two and a half minutes. So anyway. Next item. Uh, it's a polo joint. There you got your, uh, you got your horsey. I don't know what you call this guy. Like, I've seen some videos and I don't know. Fuck. It's a horsey, alright? It's a fucking horse. And, uh, you got your, your inside, you got your polo and whatnot. It's nice. It's just, a, you know, it's a long sleeve, it, good material. It's like a, I don't know, it's kind of like, uh, it's nice, soft, it, it, breathable. You know, if you wore it in, like, uh, the springtime on an early spring day, it'd be nice. You know, let in a little air, keep you warm enough, though, still. So, real happy with this. Uh, only, only problem I have is, um, I got a size large. I gotta go back and check my order, see if I ordered an extra large, and if I didn't, then I fucked up, and if I did, then they fucked up, and I don't know what to do about it, but I hope it fits. If not, you know, it's a gift, so. Next item I ordered was a, uh, <clears throat> another polo. This one right here, it's a, um, you know, you got, you got your horsey again. Uh, on the other side, you've got a, um, you got your polo. This part right here, this had a shit ton, uh, like a fucking shit ton of connected stitching. Like every every letter and every fucking part all around here was connected stitching. I uh, I fixed that up. If you don't know how to fix connected stitching, my method and I you know people have different methods. If you have another method, let me know. It might be better than mine. But what I do is I take a small pair of scissors, I cut the threads in half, and I singe them with a lighter. And, you know, it doesn't ruin the clothes, and it doesn't, like, leave marks or anything. So, if you got a better method, let me know. But other than that, the sizing on this one was right on the back. You got your Switzerland or your Swiss. And, you know, everything's real nice on this. Good quality. Fits fucking, it fits, like, exactly like I wanted it to. So, I'm really happy with this. And I was going to make another order with Retmall, but they wanted for this $75. Stylish, $35. I'm saving my 40 bucks. 
Thank you, Stylish. Thank you, Nicole. Um, next item, another pair of Beats. I unboxed these already and I tried in the last video to do the official unboxing, but it was too long, so whatever. Uh, it comes with your case. Open it up, you know, keep your headphones in there. All good. Comes with a couple different sets of the uh, earbud covers in case, you know, ears get all grimed up or some shit like that. Comes with your monster pamphlet. Comes with your Beats by Dre. Comes in a box. Open up the box. Box pops out. Got the logo. Does not have a magnet. It is just flappy inside. Got your stuff. And then the headphones. These ones are a bit different than the last ones I got. Um, the last ones I got had like a, uh, it goes up and over like an L shape for that. And it also had the talk control. So I don't know, maybe they're different headphones. Maybe they actually don't make them like this. Let me know. I really don't care. They're not for me. They're for a buddy. He just wants headphones. So they were cheap. Picked up some underwear, Dolce & Gabbana. This one's in the package. This one's not. There you go. Dolce & Gabbana. They're underwear. They're comfy. I like it. Alright. Picked up a wallet. Uh, Gucci. Contents. Inside. Box. So here you've got the, uh, the Gucci imprint. Uh, on the back. The inside. You know, you got a place where you put your bills and everything. It's a wallet. I needed a new wallet. It was fucking $14. Whether I go to Walmart or China, I'm happy with it. So, that's good. Belt. Burberry. Now I've been talking real quick and I need a fucking drink, so excuse me. Alright. Burberry belt. Box. Inside. This one had the um, the sleeve over top of it, the plastic, but like I said, I did another video earlier and it didn't work out, so I took it off. You've got your Burberry buckle, and this one's just a plain, plain brown belt. It's I like it. It's nice. So to me, real good quality. Gonna wear it definitely. Came in the box with the dust bag and all that. This one. Doesn't have a logo on it, but this is Ed Hardy. Belt, dust bag, box. Here's the, uh, there's this. The, the uh, imprint here. It's not an imprint, I guess. Uh, it protrudes from the actual buckle, so it, it's out. Uh, it's like a tiger. Maybe I got tiger blood, I don't know. But, um, Ed Hardy belts always have some crazy shit on the, uh, on the buck or not on the buckles, on the, uh, on the actual belt, so, I mean, you got some skulls and some, yeah, you know, skulls and roses. And I realized that I am almost out of time, so I have one minute left to fucking get this last thing done, so try to do this as quick as possible. Maybe I can make a separate one for people who want to know. But I got a jersey. Hockey's back. I'm fucking happy. I'm stoked. Toronto Maple Leafs. That's my team. On the back. I got Phil Kessel. Um, I went to stores and I've looked at jerseys lots at stores and you know, fuck, I'm not paying $200 for a fucking jersey. Especially when fucking billionaires are fighting with millionaires over the lockout. That's some fucked up shit. Um, real good quality. I like it a lot. I'm running out of time, so you know what? I'm going to end this shit right now. It's Jay Cash for the collie, for the pickups. You know what? If anybody else, we got to get some more people doing some video reviews because, you know, it's a little more personable than fucking looking at some pictures. But to everybody that else is ordering and doing, whether it's pictures or doing fucking videos, cheers to all y'all. My hat's off. It's J Cash, the Collie, signing off. Peace.